Hello, Gabrielus again, and this is part two of the uh, CD update. And I'm sorry for the delay, but uh, first off, uh, the batteries of this camera, uh, yeah, they went em empty, and I have to charge them. And uh, well, while they were charging, uh, my computer went yeah fucked up and stuff like that. But now I'm back again. Uh, it was just a temporary delay, and uh, I'm glad for that. So let's move on to the next to this part. Uh, next band uh, and uh, see this we got I got from this band. Uh, or we got about I mean bought is Falconer, and the first from them is their first CD, self-titled Falconer. Uh, and this one includes a bonus track in Swedish, uh, though, but uh, really fucking awesome. And uh <coughs> uh, well, this one was released 2001, and uh, is the first one of the many CDs albums. I mean, uh, they done. Uh, this four and uh, well they play uh, they are kind of a power metal and folk metal pretty much uh, so and uh, yeah I they were, were well, one of the first metal bands that I really listened to Really great, really awesome indeed. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's I can say about that. Uh, next one we have uh, chapters from a way forlorn, uh, which I started to really like just recently uh, because of one of the songs uh, which is a really beautiful song uh, Portals of Light which I really can recommend down there in the description I will put the link to that song so yeah be ready for some really nice song with beautiful yeah really beautiful song not that I uh, but the that song I think that can be uh, well you can read it in a way that uh, it's well it's power metal uh, anyway just forgot what I said uh, it's really beautiful uh, and uh, yeah uh, and for the rest of the CD I, I do like it uh, and uh, on this one, uh, uh, there's actually one of the songs that uh, I started to listen with them. Uh, the first song with them, which is called The Clarion Call. Also a really awesome song. Um, I guess I also should put that in the description. Yeah, yeah. The Clarion Call and Portals of Light. Those are the songs that you should check on this CD. Next. We have a CD with Falconer uh, called uh, The Scepter of Deception, uh, which is uh, this one and the next CD. Uh, they have a different uh, singer, uh, which is pretty uh, notable. Uh, you, it's not hard to hear that that it's a different singer totally different but still really good uh, not as good as the other singer uh, but yeah still pretty like it uh, this singer has more kind of a I uh, shall call it more raspy kind of a song not the typical palm metal uh, voice but more I don't know but it's a bit special. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't think that uh, all of you will like it, but 
you can al always test. And then we got the second album with it, uh, with uh, another, with the second singer, or what we can call it, uh, with the other singer. I haven't listened too much to this one, mostly just two songs. I think uh, it is The Return and Jack the Knife. Definitely Jack the Knife, I know, but The Return I'm not quite so sure. But yeah, uh, at least those two are really good. Uh, I can definitely recommend you Jack the Knife, it's really catchy and uh, yeah I can put the link in the description to that song uh, here uh, this seed is called Grime vs. Grandeur I hope I pronounce it right but don't trust me on that next we uh, we're still on Falconer but this is Northwind their special edition uh, which looks like this and this inside pretty cool so a bonus CD with uh, some bonus songs uh, four bonus songs uh, in Swedish though and uh, one thing with Falconer is that they have I don't know what's it called in English but uh, well, in Swedish we call it uh, visur. Uh, they sing uh, kind of like uh, old Swedish uh, children's songs, so what you can call it, call it in English. Uh, yeah. I can explain that more later uh, if you want me to review this. This is, I think, one of the no, I don't, have, I don't know, but uh, I really like this CD too. Uh, North Wind, if I didn't say that, and uh, 2006. This one was released. Uh, really awesome indeed. And if you we move the CDs here, you see when they are recording the picture. And two seconds, just here when they preparing for this picture. Pretty cool, really awesome. This and the bonus songs is also really great. Uh, if you ask me, uh, and here are the lyrics to the bonus songs, and here is the normal lyrics. Uh, normal, normal. I mean the lyrics on the other songs, the songs on the CD. Common CD and the more you most people can get. get. Uh, I think this is a special limited kind of special edition. I don't know, uh, but uh, if it is, then you have to hurry up if you really want. If you really like Falconer and uh, want to get this one, this special edition. And you should definitely go check uh, Falconer, definitely, uh, especially if you are from Sweden. Really awesome indeed. And the last CD I bought with Falconer is Among Beggars and Thieves uh, from 2008. Looks like this inside. Pretty cool CD, this one too. And. Uh, I don't really have a favorite cedar of Falconer, but uh, yeah, uh, they're really awesome indeed. Really, you should definitely go check them out. Uh, just any of the links 
and all the songs that I put in the description. Yeah, well, let's go on to the next band. Oh, by the way, now uh, with this, with this, uh, all this that I bought with Harkoner, I got all the CDs that uh, until now. Uh, so, and uh, if you're interested, uh, they are for a moment. Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, creating the next album, which is com going to be released. I, I don't know. They ha haven't set any dates now, but uh, they have announced that they they are making the uh, the next CD. Uh, probably this year it will come out. So uh, I will definitely go uh, pre-order that thing. Really, or definitely going to pre-order it. Next band uh, I got is Fractal uh, Gates. This CD is called Beyond the Self, and is released 2013. This is one of the bands that I bought on the band camp. Looks like this inside. Uh, and I hope you see much better now uh, compared to the last video, uh, w which was all black when I tried to show CD and insights and whatnot. Yeah, and you see the uh, band members here. Uh, pretty good uh, metal. Uh, Melodic death metal, I mean, not metalcore, sorry. Uh, melodic death metal band, and they got another release from, I think, 2012 or 2011, I don't know, but, uh, which I'm also going to buy. I don't remember the name of it now, but uh, it was also pretty good. Uh, go check this out if you like uh, melodic death metal. And what I heard is that the melodic death metal had really various kind of uh, bands uh, with uh, really different kind of qualities what you can call it uh, well well I say uh, this with it uh, one maybe doesn't like everything uh, from a specific genre but uh, yeah, you like what you like. Anyway, move on to the next one. Instead of just babbling around shitty quotations and stuff. Hollows. Fortified. Is this one called? Uh, released 2011. Uh, and this is the uh, Deathcore slash Metalcore band. Uh, from Sweden, uh, from this country, which I live in, and uh, I don't remember which city, but uh, who cares from which city? Uh, Sweden, uh, and really good uh, deathcore slash metalcore band. Um, um, yeah. Cool. Uh, go check them out if you like. Uh, I think that I would say that they're more of the death on the death course side. Uh, so yeah, definitely go check it that out if you like death core or metal core for that. What I know, or if you just like the bands I like. Who knows. Uh, Next band I'm going to show you is How the West Was Won, uh, an EP, a self-titled EP of them, from them, uh, released, uh, when was it, uh, 2012, really good symphonic metalcore, uh, really good indeed. Uh, and they have a Christian lyric if you are into that kind of stuff or, or if you're not just I, I don't really care I if we, the band have Christian kind of lyrics or themes or whatever but I li like it I like the band if I like the sound that's it I don't care if they 
praise the Egyptians and stuff. Uh, I just like the band. I don't care. As long as a band have really are really good, uh, I'm going to listen to them, like them, uh, whatever. If they praise Jesus or damn him or whatever, um, but anyway. Going on to the next band, which have Christian kind of lyrics, if I remember, yeah, uh, is In the Midst of Lions, um, The Heart of Man, uh, their second release, and uh, sadly they have broke up. I mean, uh, well, uh, Spit, what's it called? Yeah, I think it's called. Well, the band is no more, at least for now. Uh, I don't know the reason why they uh, have split, but uh, really sad indeed, because they are really good. Uh, 12 songs on this, in this piece, uh, and the insides looks like... Oh, sorry, I have to turn this one. Looks like this, you see it? Very good, huh? At least I think. And uh, I saw it, it was something. Yeah, the band members back here, if you see. Yeah, go check them out. And with this one, I have all the CDs, the, all the CDs. Uh, so, yeah. And the other two uh, is called uh, Shadows and Into the Darkness, I think. Anyway, really good band, indeed. And on to the last one for this video is Infant Annihilator. I think you pronounce it like that. And uh, this is a release from 2012, and it's called The Pulp A. The the pulp able leprosy of pollution. I hope you are said that right. Uh, really good indeed. Uh, um, they play some kind of a, um, what's called a technical death core and uh, if and uh, have a little bit of grind core or brutal death metal in it. Uh, really good indeed, if you ask me. Uh, definitely go check them out. And they have a really more kind of a like, uh, more brutal, what's it called it, uh, lyrics, yes or uh, song, tech, song names, just to name a few. Uh, Devotion to the Child Rape Syndicate. Uh, Count Crusher, Pinned Down and Fisted. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, but I, I really like it, and they also got a video uh, up, I don't know what it's called, but I can link it down in the description below, and uh, if you ask me, I think it's re really a funny video, indeed. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I heard something, I, I mean, I read something uh, about them being gay or something like that, I, I don't know, but... Uh, who the hell cares? What the fuck, man? Uh, I just... What if they sing, have Christian lyrics, or if they're gay, what the fuck ever? I listen to them if I like them. What the fuck? I don't know what, prob what the problem with it is with people today. <sighs> well, I end the video with that. And... Um, be 
ready for the next one, which I will upload in a few minutes. I promise. It's time. I hope uh, that I won't get any delays of some random shit. Computer behave. <coughs> yes, I got computer just run here. So yeah. Uh, until next time, stay metal.